as uh, we get rid of them for the lights to go out and uh, one light, two light, three light, four lights, five lights and it's lights out and it's go 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 and it looks like Joe has gotten away well Jerome right behind him though and uh, into turn one it's gonna be Joe who leads and then the two McLarens side by side it's Cornish and Dablo squabble it out and Cornish is gonna get ahead of that battle Simi looking to get past the McLaren as there is a uh, bit of contact in the back but I think everyone's going on way fine as uh, there's a lot of battling going on through a ruse Spazaman and Rabzorg somehow make that work Spazaman with a nice overtake there and uh, it's going to be a lot of people down this cal camel straight but I think most importantly it's going to be Jerome Hudson looking for the move down camel straight as uh, he doesn't make that one work as Simi's up to P4 then Cornish dropped down P5 through that camel straight and it's S10 now making the move on Rabzorg Rapsog looking to go back at him though through this sector too. Oh, that's a big send from Rapsog That's a massive send from Rapsog getting his elbows out and uh, making contact there And in the meanwhile that'll be settled out in the stewards room I'm sure as through no name then get Valkyrie and Axel Ross surely you're not gonna go do, do this So oh. <laughs> get Valkyrie backs out before going side by side in the pool on that is the smart move But the top two now already pulling away from Dablo and Simi in P4, 1.2 seconds behind Dablo. So Dablo's on an island now in P3 and just needs to drive the car to get it home without any further implications. And uh, Williams in P6, that did not happen in 2021. Oh, oh, oh squeezing out. Spazaman there is square head man. And Spazaman gone extremely deep into turn one there. That might be a little bit of a movement under braking from square head. I don't know. I didn't see it properly. And uh, anything I call here is not, uh, is, it's not conclusive proof of anything because I don't see anything properly. Jerome now 1.5 seconds behind. I believe he's made an, made an error somewhere as Cornish Mantis is looking for the move. Now on Simi on the Ferrari and he's got that done before the braking zone. The McLaren really, really slippery. On that Camel straight as Spazaman and Rabzog going ooh, very, very close to each other. Rabzog almost pushing Spazaman through there. And uh, this time there's not going to be a move into this right-hander by Rabzog. He's not close enough at this time as the timings are completely glitched. As uh, <laughs> I don't believe Rabzog is a minute behind. But now Axel Ross on S10. <laughs> oh guys, oh this is going to be dangerous. As, oh in the pool, oh, no, no, no. I did say it. I did say it was going to be dangerous. One mouth out of the session in the wall. Axel Ross get a Val carried round then. Everyone's going along nicely. Um, oh, a little bit of a snap there for Rabzog. That might leave him vulnerable to Spazaman through a Rouge onto Rydelian. Rabzog going defensive through a Rouge. Does not need to do that. Defending a little bit of clear air. And now Spazaman will have the chance to get him down this straight. As the Aston Martin using his ERS, using the DRS advantage into the next corner. Will get it quite easily before the braking zone. And into sector two as uh, Big Boris as well moving up. So the Aston Martins working in tandem. On to this straight. Then the As Alpha Tower a long way back, but deploying his ERS wants to get back past the Aston Martin. And look at the speed on that As Alpha Tower into the braking zone. He's already ahead of the Aston Martin. As now the two Aston Martins back to back. It's Spazaman and Big Boris. Right behind one another as uh, Squarehead now dropping back from Simi but Dablo making gains on Jerome Hudson. The McLaren honing in on the Red Bull. Uh, and now within the RS range of him. Um, could be an interesting fight to develop this one if it, if it does go uh, that far. As they now head to Sector 3. Into Sector 3 then. A very important exit here to keep that DRS. Dablo has got it. And Kiwi's out of the race. And there's a safety car now. And a safety car will mean that everyone will come in. There's no way anyone stays out now. It's going to be the mediums or the hards to the end of the race. No, no matter what you are. There's no, there's no way anyone stays out now. And it's going to be a full race reset. Cornish Mantis is going to be leading us away. On this safety car restart from Simi, from Joe, from Jerome, from Dablo, Squarehead, Stevie, Rabzog, Spazaman, Big Boris, S10, 
Axel Ross and Get Valkyrie still running in this race. 13 competitors still here with us as uh, everyone warming up the tires by weaving, which is not something you need to do on this game. Just press accelerate and uh, brake at the same time, guys. Come on. Um, as uh, Cornish has gone, he's got getting us underway. He's gone before the bus stop chicane to give himself the most amount of time to get away from Simi and from Joe. But Joe might, might just be looking for the move on the Ferrari right here, right now. And into turn one, he's not going to be ahead, but he's going to be braver on the brakes. And will get past the Simi gets left a little bit vulnerable with that move. And from Jerome Hudson now, as there's another tower in the background that's spinning. That is Rabzog, I believe. Having a little bit of a spin there. I don't know if he's been hit or anything, but uh, Simi getting eaten up now by everyone who's pitted. But Squarehead in sixth right behind him as Joe now. Looking for the move on Cornish Mantis to lead the race and he will get it even before the braking zone. As we now see the drivers coming through, it's going to be the Mercedes in front. Then it's going to be the McLaren from Jerome and Dablo who's, who are going to be fighting now. And uh, I wonder how much of a part is Cornish going to play in that fight. Is he going to be harsh on Jerome here with his defense and then let through Dablo easily? That is a question we will get an answer to in a little bit as Jerome looking for a way past the McLaren on those hard compound tires. Spazaman and Stevie going side by side behind but... Ooh, Simi going really wide through Puan just letting Squarehead pass there. And uh, Squarehead now making the move as well. So Jerome still stuck behind Cornish Mantis, really wanting to get by, but just can't. And now through sector three we go. And now it's all flat out until the bus stop is Shane. And now Jerome has gone past. And I wonder if Cornish is going to let his teammate pass as well here. No, <laughs> there isn't going to be any team orders on McLaren. Never mind, yes, there is. As, uh, just right as I say that, Cornish lifted and let Dablo through. Spazaman really struggling, or not Spazaman, sorry, Stevie really struggling here on those old mediums. And uh, Big Boris and Axel Ross behind him go side by side. That's a great move from Axel Ross there to get past the Aston Martin. And now into Puan, he might just look to get Stevie as well. And we've seen this before. It's a repeat of what happened on lap two. As uh, Squarehead is out of the race. And there's another safety car. Huh? What's going on? And somehow in all of that, I believe Axel Ross has got some damage as well. What? I I don't I don't think anyone was even near Squarehead there. I mean, it could have been, but the last I checked, there was uh, two uh, about a second on both sides of for him. So I don't not not quite sure what's happened there. But the important news is that we have got another safety car. And uh, Joe is in the pit lane. Everyone should be into the pit lane for maybe softs at this point. Oh, Stevie. Losing positions on the safety car and looking like he's spunny or he's been spun. One of the two under the safety car has happened there to the McLaren, McLaren Mercedes of Stevie Mac. Five more racing laps. Here around Spa, and it's going to be Joe from Jerome, from Dablo, from Simi, from Cornish, S10, Valkyrie, Rabsorg, Axel Ross, Boris. Who is going to be staying out? Uh, Stevie and Spazaman then will be backing the back up. And Joe, safety car restart. 10 bucks on it being slow, and that is what it's looking like so far. <laughs> This is how we can get the lap data enabled and we are almost getting back underway for five more racing laps here in Belgium. And uh, it's going to be Mercedes from Red Bull, from McLaren, from Ferrari, the top four, all top four teams in real life. Only missing uh, Aston Martin, basically, but I don't know if they count anymore. It's just gone. He's gone now onto the bus stop again. He knows he has an advantage here in the s low speed corners. Definitely having a little bit more downforce than the rest of them. But as we get on the way, it looks to be everyone is going to be getting underway fine. Big Boris a little bit struggling through that final corner. We know that's because of the front wing damage. As Spazaman looking to make the move. <coughs> Sorry, on Stevie Mac and on his teammate as well maybe. It does get a three second p time penalty for going the corner there. And uh, that is for multiple track limit violations. Joe already up a second up the road. And here goes Dablo then. 
could he make the move on his American friend that is uh, Cornish Mantis getting past a Simi in the McLaren and he's on those mediums remember so they're gonna be at a slight grip disadvantage here early on as uh, Stevie and Spazza battling it out for P10 and P11 as uh, Stevie does get past a Spazza man and ooh, very very close together these two as we get the nice helicopter cam going and uh, it seems to be everyone's going away just fine as uh, Dablo now Maybe looking for a move down in the pool on, on his, uh, on his fellow American and fellow friend, but not quite doing this time around. We will have to wait another lap to see any moves probably because Spa has that one overtaking move Trinity and that's it. As uh, this fight for P6 now with S10 and Rabzorg and Get Valkyrie, all three in that fight. Simi in P5 in a little bit of a no man's land as the two, oh, as the Martin, uh, oh, sorry, Alpha Tari and Haas going side by side. And now through a Rouge. No DRS, obviously, this time around. But Dablo, very, very close to Jerome and could be making the move here for P2 in this race. Dablo, the McLaren, going for the move around the outside. And he has made it, he has done it into the braking zone he's gonna be up into second place in this Grand Prix that's gonna be wonderful news for McLaren that's gonna be wonderful news for Dablo as uh, Simi looking to get out of the second of get Valkyrie to stay in that fifth position and Jerome Hudson just on these safety car restarts doesn't seem to have the confidence to fire those tires up like the others do we saw it in China where he was struggling after the safety car restart and we are seeing it here now he's struggling a little bit for pace after a safety car restart as S10 and Axel Ross again into Puon. Guys, not gonna work and it hasn't worked again. S10 going around and that's never a good sign to go side by side in Puon. And uh, Big Boris is out of race. Now in uh, Rydillion and there is not gonna be a safety car because there's only two laps remaining. But Simi Midas is very, very much under pressure from Rabzog. As uh, there's a uh, for Mercedes, I believe that's Stevie Mack off the track as well. Maybe there's been a collision between him, him and Spazza, we do not know. But the mo more pressing pressing issue is that Rabzog right behind Simi now. 4P7 through Blanchemont. Could he make the move on the inside of Blanchemont? This could be brave from the Alpha Tower and does make the move. And Simi's got a time penalty for multiple warnings, but I believe that will be appealed. <laughs> Kornschmant is in P4. As it stands currently, maybe closing in a little bit on Jerome Hudson, we don't know. As uh, Simi's dropped out as a second from uh, Rab Zog and Axel Ross very, very close to him. Uh, hopefully this fight can keep it clean and no one else needs to get spun around or DNF'd from this race. As uh, Steve is boxed for fastest lap, then he was outside the points anyway and probably had some damage to his front wing. But Jerome now within DRS of Dablo and he'll have exactly one chance at this. One more chance for Jerome. Dablo, lot more ERS. Cornish Mantis behind just about over that second as uh, Jerome Hudson then. He has gonna, he's gonna have one chance at the end of Rydillion for this move. He's gonna be within DRS. Over, he's pushing the car to its limits. You can see the Red Bull just sliding around there. And on this main straight, he's nine tenths behind. And there's one of the get Valkyrie is off the track. Okay, uh, <laughs> sorry, I don't know what's happened there. But Jerome Hudson not within DRS of P2 at the moment. Could Cornish Mantis make it a double podium for McLaren? And could he get Jerome Hudson here on the last lap like he did in China? He got the podium in China on the last lap. Could he get the podium here in Belgium on the last lap? He's not going to be close enough at this point in time. But might look for the move later on in the lap. And this time Simi attacking Rabzog. Around the outside goes the Ferrari. This is going to be brave. And uh, I've completely missed it. Simi is forced to cove track. And uh, he's going to lose a position to Axel Ross in that progress. So uh, not uh, not the cleanest of fights there. But uh, obviously I missed half of it. So I don't know what actually happened. Uh, Cornish Mantis, four tenths behind uh, Jerome now. So he's going to be looking to make that move. As uh, Axel Ross is off the track now. And uh, Simi is going through. I well, don't know what's happening anymore. But Cornish Mantis then looking to get this move done for the podium position for P3 in this race for McLaren. That would be massive for their Constructors Championship dreams. As oh, he's got a three second time penalty right out of the start of Sector 3. He's got a three second time penalty. That's going to save Jerome Hudson any worry of him getting back past. But it's another 
dominant performance for Joe, for the Mercedes. He's going to take the championship lead in style and he's going to win here in Belgium. What a race it has been for the Mercedes. It's going to be Dablo taking his maiden podium in P2 for McLaren. Jerome Hudson going to complete the podium. Two Americans on the podium. Rabsorg going to be finishing P5 here, at least on track as Simic goes P6. But we'll have to wait and see for those Stewart's results to see what actually happened there. As Vazaman finishing P7 after all of his worries. Uh, that is a very good result for him. And Axel Ross then. Coming through the line on at P8, get Val carried in P9 without front wing. S10 completing the point sitters in P10. And uh, yeah, that is a great, great race there.